Hello and welcome to Jericho's Intuition, where we infuse the sheer joy of creativity and innovation into our everyday wheels. And whether you are a member of the squad, a returning visitor, or you're just passing by, I'd like to invite you to stay a while with me as we dive into today's recipe. Ooh, and today we are making this classic, delicious, soft, comforting spaghetti and this is with some bacon scallion oil and some caramelized scallions this recipe is inspired by an asian cuisine and it's so so good <laughs> All right, friends, let's get started. Here are all the ingredients we're going to be needing for our pasta, and I'll drop a list of them in the description box. I got a lot of scallions, which I am going to be cutting into big chunks, at least 95% into big chunks, and the rest I will dice and set aside for later use. We call those green onions in Nigeria, some Norita scallions, but whatever you call it, this is the leaf. You can see it, right? <laughs> So here I went my pasta water and then I cut up one large onion and I put in a saucepan with the scallions. I am going in with a lot of oil, about a cup of um, soya oil. Now the perfect oil for this recipe is peanut oil but I don't have that available because the peanut oil has a very unique aroma that goes well with this recipe. Now I got some bacons which I am going to cut in bacon strips and I'm going to cut them into small bite-sized pieces like this. Friends, these noodles are so so good. This spaghetti, you will love it. But I must warn you, <laughs> it is in moderation at least once or twice a year because it has a lot of oil. Okay, so in I've gotten, I put my scallion on fire and I'm going to let that fry for about 10, 12 to 15 minutes until it is caramelized. Now I drizzle some oil and I put my bacon in that. I season with some pepper and some salt and I'm going to fry this until it is nicely golden brown and caramelized. So this is our oil and you want to go in and keep stirring that up so that everything will fry in the okay, you don't want some parts to burn and some parts not to. I must warn you, <laughs> your house in your neighborhood is going to smell amazing when you start frying with Italian oil once it starts forming. So just be cautious in case you have a neighbor coming to knock and say, please, what's going on here? <laughs> All right, so here my pasta water is simmering and I'm going to drop some lingering pasta into that. This is what our scallion looks like, nicely caramelized. Don't fry it further than this because it will turn into something that is just burnt. Now this is what we want. On its own, you might not be able to eat this because it will be bitter, but mix it with the pasta and you will thank me for it. Now this is the scallion oil and our bacon strips, I've removed them from fire. So you add, I added my some of the oil into the bacon oil, bacon has a lot of oil, and into that I added some of my blended pepper, ginger, garlic. I added two teaspoons of brown sugar and one seasoning cube. Now, this is not the original recipe, but trust me, Jeruka always twists things. <laughs> And it always comes out amazing. I have my feels too, but this is a winner. Trust me. So I'm going to give this a quick stir and let it cook up a bit. And I'll season it with some salt. I added one seasoning cube. That is all you need. Next, went in some light soy sauce. And you want to be a little bit generous with this because the original recipe actually contains a lot of soy sauce. Now our pasta is ready and we're going to incorporate it into our frying sauce. So 
so now i love to add me some pasta water so that it will cook our pasta evenly i prefer it rather than adding anything extra there went in a, a tablespoon of butter and i added some extra soy sauce now you want to mix all of this together and let it cook for about five minutes Of course, stirring continuously. Okay. This is a very, very comforting one. I promise you, you will love it. You can go gently on the oil, but the secret is actually in having a lot of oil in this spaghetti. So now I added my bacon strips, part of it, a portion of it, and I'm going to mix that up now do not keep this ingredient i am adding some extra pasta water and it always always makes a difference trust me now i'm adding the secret ingredient uh, like i was saying and that is my oyster sauce <laughs> don't skip this part as much as you can it makes a difference so I went in with some oyster sauce and I'm going to mix all of that up. It takes the spaghetti up the next level. Now this is where our other parts of the scallions come in and of course the caramelized scallions. Friends, don't miss this part, don't skip this part. This is a game changer. In fact, the bacon is a jerry casting the real recipe does not even have bacon but this is that is just me adding some protein to it this caramelized onions like i said earlier on its own it's bitter but when you mix it in this pasta <laughs> i don't even know how to describe it to you but you will thank me later okay let me tell you something after I made this pasta, this is just we're three in the house. Emma fetched some for herself, and while she was dilly dally, she said she'll eat a little and eat later. By the time she went back, it was empty. Guess who finished it? <laughs> All right, just keep guessing. Those who know, know, okay? All right, so this is how beautiful our spaghetti looks. And it smells amazing it's so easy and quick to make and it's very delicious trust me but like I said once or twice a year is what you should do for this pasta thank you so much friends for watching <laughs>